So you lied on your resume saying you know how to use After Effects and now you're panicking and trying to figure out how to use the software. No worries, in this video we'll tell you what to focus on and how to use After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we're gonna talk about the top 10 things you should know how to create inside of After Effects. And of course, this is my opinion. If you feel like this list is missing something, please drop a comment down below so we can all know what we've missed. And please understand that this is not a tutorial. It's just a walkthrough on what to focus on. So let's go ahead and get started. In no particular order, we have the Ken's Burn effect, and essentially it is a image sequence that is animated, so basically you will be able to zoom in and out of photos, and also be able to pan around and just be able to animate a image sequence that can be used for presentations or uh, showing off your products on your website. At number 9 on our list, we recommend that you should be able to create title sequences inside of After Effects and it is a huge portion of what you might be doing inside of After Effects. Being able to create titles and be able to get uh, your idea across in a very um, creative way can be very helpful. So there's tons of ways to create titles and there's a lot of tutorials out there to kind of get you started and understand that there's more than one way to create awesome titles. At number eight, I suggest you learn how to do kinetic typography, especially if you're into video production. You never know when you might have to do animation and you have voiceover that kind of explains something that you really can't show visually. So sometimes text uh, can be really helpful to explain what the voiceover is saying. At number seven, it's quite common, but learn how to do logo animation. Probably a huge reason why people learn how to use After Effects, uh, but it can be extremely useful and you'll probably be doing a lot of logo animation, especially if you do any video work. Um, and it's just like creating titles. There are a lot of ways to do it and there's tons of tutorials out there and of course awesome project files. So uh, you can definitely take a look at that. At number six, learn how to create infographics, especially if you're into politics or into corporate work. Definitely can be useful if you want to do a presentation for the company you're working for, or if you want to you know, show poll numbers or anything like that. Creating infographics can be extremely helpful. At number five, we have a little bit of a mixture here, but it all relates to video. Learn how to uh, color correct and grade footage inside of After Effects. There's some awesome tools here and a lot of different choices to choose from. So definitely take a look at how to color correct video correctly inside of After Effects. And then of course, learn how to do motion tracking so you can incorporate text or objects inside of your footage as if you actually shot it when you are on set. At number four, learn how to export transparent video. I'll give a quick demo here, but all you have to do is go to your output module, click on the lossless uh, text right there, go to the channels and open that tab up and go click on RBG plus alpha. And that's how you'll be able to export transparent video without a background. At number three, learn how to create lower third graphics. And it may not just be uh, titles for people you may have interviewed. It may just be like little pieces of information that you want to get across. So it can be extremely helpful. And of course, with number four, we said learn how to export transparent video. This is exactly when you would need to export transparent video so you can overlay it on video inside of Premiere. Number two is more of a tip because if you know Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop, you're going to have a leg up inside of After Effects even if you haven't used it before because you can import uh, vector files and Photoshop documents inside of After Effects and retain all the layers that you created inside of Photoshop and Illustrator. So this gives you a huge advantage to uh, design graphics or uh, you know titles and be able to animate them inside of After Effects. So even if you don't know Illustrator or Photoshop, it's always a plus to learn that software as well. In the number one spot, which is my favorite, learn how to use After Effects templates. So instead of having to recreate the wheel every time, understand that there's tons of project files online that you can buy professionally uh, for a very nice low price that can save you a ton of time and still deliver professional work. There's a ton of great sites out there. And just understand that you don't have to be the most creative person in the world. Just having a little bit of a technical understanding of After Effects can help you create pretty much anything that any professional can because you can always buy project file templates. So just learn enough about After Effects to be able to use the templates. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you guys disagree with this list or have anything you want to add to it, please drop a comment down below so we can make this the perfect top 10 list. If you want to learn After Effects and you haven't subscribed to our channel Sunduck Film yet, uh, please take a look at our channel. We have tons of tutorials on how to create awesome things right inside of After Effects. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more After Effects videos. Please be sure to check us out on our social media networks. Those links in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope 
you have a good day.